Hey, third grade. I'm coming for another weekend edition of Wonder. And um, it is so nice outside. I had to sit outside for this and I've got Randy here. So um, he wants to listen to this chapter too. This is from part six. This is still from Augie's point of view. Um, and this chapter is called... Um, uh, the Augie doll. For a while, the war was all we talked about. February was when it was really at its worst. That's when practically nobody was talking to us, and Julian had started leaving notes in our lockers. The notes to Jack were stupid, like, you stink, big cheese, and nobody likes you anymore. I got notes like, freak, and another that said, get out of our school, orc. Summer thought we should report the notes to Miss Rubin, who was the middle school dean, or even Mr. Tushman, but we thought that wouldn't that would be like snitching. Anyway, it's not like we didn't leave notes too, though ours weren't really mean. They were kind of funny and sarcastic. One was, You're so pretty, Julian, I love you. Will you marry me? Love Bula. Another was, Love your hair, XOX, Bula. Another was, You're a babe, chick on my feet, XO Bula. Bula was the made-up person that me and Jack came up with. She had really gross habits, like eating the green stuff in between her toes and sucking on her knuckles. And we figured someone like that would have a real crush on Julian, who looked and acted like someone in a Kids Bop commercial. There were also a couple of times in February when Julian, Miles, and Henry played tricks on Jack. They didn't play tricks on me. I think because they knew if they got caught bullying me, it would be a big time trouble for them. Jack, they figured, was an easier target. So one time they stole his gym shorts and played monkey in the middle with them in the locker room. Another time, Miles, who sat next to Jack in homeroom, swiped Jack's worksheet off his desk, crumpled it in a ball and tossed it to Julian across the room. This wouldn't have happened if Miss Potosa had been there, of course, but there was a substitute teacher that day and subs really never know what's going on. Jack was good about this stuff. He never let them see when he was upset, though I think sometimes he was. The other kids in the grade knew about the war, except for Savannah's group. The girls were neutral at first, but by March, they were getting kind of sick of it, and so were some of the boys. Like another time when Julian was dumping some pencil sharpener shavings into Jack's backpack, Amos, who was usually tight with them, grabbed the backpack out of Julian's hands, returned it to Jack. It was starting to feel like the majority of boys weren't buying into Julian anymore. Then a few weeks ago, Julian started spreading this ridiculous rumor that Jack had hired some hitman to get him and Miles and Henry. This lie was so pathetic that people were actually laughing about him behind his back. If you remember, back when we were reading Justin's part, I wonder who they think that hitman was. Um, anyway, a hitman is someone who is uh, hired to do something mean to somebody, really bad to hurt somebody. So they think that Jack hired someone to do something mean to them. When in reality, we know it was just Justin trying to be tough and scare him a little bit. Um, so by the end of March, only Miles and Henry were on Julian's side, and I think even they were getting tired of the war by then. I'm pretty sure everyone stopped, I'm pretty sure everyone's stopped playing the plague game behind my back too. No one really cringes if I bump into them anymore, and people borrow my pencils without acting like the pencil has cooties. People even joke around with me now sometimes. Like the other day, I saw Maya writing a note to Ellie on a piece of ugly doll stationery. I don't know why, but I just kind of randomly said, did you know the guy who created the ugly dolls based them on me? Maya looked at me with her eyes wide open like she totally believed me. Then when she realized I was only kidding, she thought it was the funniest thing in the world. You are so funny, August, she said. And then she told Ellie and some of the other girls what I had just said, and they all thought it was funny too. Like at first they were shocked, but then when they saw I was laughing about it, they knew it was okay to laugh about it too. And the next day, I found a little ugly doll keychain sitting on my chair with a nice little note from Maya that said, For the nicest Augie doll in the world, XO Maya. Six months ago, stuff like this never would have happened, but now it happens more and more. Also, people have been really nice about the hearing aids I started wearing. All right, that is the end of 
um, the Augie Dow chapter and um, enjoy this beautiful weather the rest of today. See you tomorrow.